we know that there is a tremendous amount of, of public concern over the potential impact of, of, of one or more CAFOs in our area. It's, you know, the event is unprecedented and the concern is unprecedented. And as a couple of folks have, have, have said, this is it's a tough time to be the county board and it's, it's where we're really called upon to, to, to do our duties as, and, and perform our responsibilities as best we can. Yeah. We, the law says we, we can't prohibit a cable from coming here. We can we can regulate it. And if we impose some regulations, but if we're really going to do all we can to, to be responsive to a, a great deal of public concern here, and, and I think just will public concern. We, we haven't dealt with this sort of thing in, in an area that we all think is, is a very special part of the world. That's, and that's what so what you know, what more can we do? It's it's looking at whether there are more stringent standards that we could apply under the law and whether there's adequate scientific basis for us to impose more stringent standards that would protect our area. And as uh, that's it's drinking water, right? And uh, you know, there, there are problems with, the, with overflows in the Ashland Sewage Treatment Plant and, and, and the Washburn, but th this is something totally new and unprecedented for us, and there may well be things that we could do in, in terms of, I would argue that we should certainly give ourselves time to take a look at that um, uh, and do everything we can to do our best to uh, assess the impact on this area and whether there's anything we can do as a county board to reduce the risk of adverse harm to our area, to reduce the, 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 the uh, potential risk to public health.